Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is our sixth and final workout of our two week booty challenge. So I hope you guys are super excited. We're just gonna grind right through this thing. It is already toasty out. My battery is already mad at me. So we're just gonna run right through it, okay? Okay, so we're starting with our warm up. It's gonna be 40 on with a 10 second rest and there's gonna be three moves. So we're starting with that squat, uh, jump squat variation. So you're gonna squat, come up, jump squat, go back down to a regular squat, okay? So, ready? Squat, up, squat, jump. Squat, up, squat, jump. Perfect, guys. Make sure you squeeze your butt. Perfect, and engage that core. Make sure you plant those heels as well, okay, guys? I know it's really easy to wanna just aim right for your toes as you come down from that jump. Plant the heel. Perfect. Now we're gonna do something a little different. So kind of like that warm up from that last uh, from Monday, but no band. So we're gonna have bent here. We're gonna tap to the side, tap to the back, squat. Tap to the side, tap to the back. Good. Good. You know, so I don't come completely up after that squat, okay? You don't want to stay 90 degrees, but you don't want to be standing as well. Perfect, now we're gonna go into a standing deadlift. Um, I keep trying to give you guys some better angles this time. So what we're gonna do, legs out, hands above your head. Bend down, back up. Good, you don't wanna bend your knees. Nice and slow, okay? I breathe in the whole way down and out the whole way up, okay? Good. Should feel a nice stretch right back here. Perfect, we only have a 15 second rest, then we're jumping right back into that first jump sequence, okay? Squat sequence, whatever you want to call it. Okay, ready? Squat. Squat. Jump. Perfect, now we're going into that side and back tap again, okay? Okay, ready? So my legs are a little more than shoulder width here. Tap to the side, it's more of like a little bit of an angle here. Obviously you guys can use either weight or bands for this. The whole point of my thing with this workout is that there's no equipment, not even a yoga mat being used today. That way you guys can do this anywhere, especially as I'm seeing on the news, a lot of gyms that were opened are being closed again. Although most of my following is in my hometown, so I know your gyms did not open yet. <laughs> so, and then into those deadlifts again, kind of deadlifts. Ready? Beautiful. They're kind of like cross between a Russian deadlift and a good morning. I call these good mornings because they do them with the weight. 
but I also saw it called RDL. Think about having your core crunched while you do this as well, okay? You're engaging it with every move that we do. I know we don't tend to think about it, but it's there. One more time through. You guys are awesome. You're doing amazing. Okay, ready? Squat. Up. Squat. I've learned from all my past mistakes and we're doing this in the shade. We're also doing it on the one spot that my dad can never seem to grow grass. And maybe it's me tearing it up that has a um, hard to do with that, but we're not gonna tell him. He doesn't need to know. into those deadlifts again. Hi, Rudy. It's my chipmunk. You ready? Up. Over. Back up, squeeze. This is a really great way to activate your glutes. So if you're going to do this workout, always do it towards the beginning. That's the best way to really start to feel that burn and then continue it all the way through the rest of your workout. Perfect, now we're just gonna jump right into the actual workout. So to give you guys kind of a little bit of a rest here, I'm gonna talk for a second. So my shoes, they are running shoes. I don't know if you guys can really see them that well. You should not be wearing running shoes when you're doing these leg workouts. You need to be wearing either flat shoe or barefoot. However, I like to save my um, flat gym shoes for the gym. I don't like to get them dirty because I don't like to track dirt into the actual gym facility itself. And we are working out outside today, but I'm also in the grass, which is already very rockety and it's not flat to begin with. So that's why I'm kind of justifying wearing these. But if you are working out at home, please be doing this either barefoot or with a flat shoe on. That's how you're going to get the best results and make sure that you're not hurting your back or throwing yourself off in any way because of having that kind of insole, okay? Okay, now we're going into the actual workout itself. So we're going to start with a front kick into a lunge and then we're going to jump to switch. So I know we do this in my cardio kickboxing class. Um, make sure that's like a uh, front kick. You don't have to worry about it being too high or anything. Just get the idea. So your foot comes up. Come back, lunge, then we jump, switch. Front kick, lunge, jump, okay? Make sure you really set yourself. Lunge, jump, set, front. Lunge, jump, set. Make sure you're grounded. If you try to do this jump too quick into that front kick, you might twist your knee and I don't want you to hurt yourself, okay? It's timed, we're not worrying about how many you do. Good. Beautiful. Next, what we're doing is we're gonna do a squat walk. So we're gonna walk forward. Once we hit forward, we're gonna do a double uh, jump. So you squat, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. When we're at that four, we're gonna do double jump squat. One, 
two, perfect, from that second one, two, three, four, good, into a squat pulse, one, two, three, four, good, one, two, but I really hope I'm not going out there, perfect. Um, I hope I didn't go out of frame. I might shorten that next time. I'll double check. Uh, next, we're going into oblique twist. So we squat, twist. So a wider squat, squat, up, twist. Squat, up, twist. Good. Perfect. Now the last thing that we're going to do is a squat. And after we come up, we're going to do a leg raise, okay? Different from a side kick because we're not going to pull that hip over. In side kick, you're just going to raise it, okay? Okay, so I'm so sorry my timer messed up. I forgot to put that there four moves rather than three. So, squat, raise. Squat, raise. Good. Think about focusing on these hip, uh, your side hips, that hip dip part. Squat. Think about using that to pull your leg up, okay? Hip dips are just a part of your human anatomy, guys. So I know you see people with these really nice full sides to their glutes. You can work that as much as you want and obviously try to alleviate some of that dip, but please don't stress about that because that is just your body. That's something that you can't completely change, okay? Um, so now we're into a full rest. I'm actually gonna pause this really quick, double check that I was in frame for that walk because I might modify it a little bit, okay? Okay, we're all set and I paused the timer too so you guys still get your full rest, don't worry. Make sure you're drinking some water. Um, yeah, it's about it. Okay. And just kind of get ready. We're going to go back into those lunges. So if you don't want to do a front kick for this, you can honestly just bring your leg up into a knee and then into that front kick, uh, that lunge, okay? Okay, ready? I always say ready and my timer is up, but you know. Okay, hands up. So keep your shoulders square, core engaged. Ready? Front kick. Back down. Lunge. Switch. Hands up. Front kick, lunge, switch. Beautiful. Keep that core engaged this whole time, okay, guys? Walk. This time instead of counting each right is one, we're just gonna do one, two, three, four. That way stay in frame a little better. Squat. One, three, double squat. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two. You guys are doing amazing. I know this one burns, but. I really messed up that jump squat. Did you see that, guys? Okay, into oblique twist. Ready? Squat. Twist. humid out here. Do not recommend. Perfect. 
Now into that last squat, into the side raise. Okay, ready? We can get more of an ankle here. Squat. Make sure you're planting your weight so we squat, that's double. Shift your weight to the other side, leg raise. Shift, leg raise. Good. And again, don't worry about how high this kick is. That all will come down to flexibility. So, I don't want you to stress about that. Beautiful. One more time. Rest are my least favorite part. I'm not gonna lie. I know they should be your favorite, but. Okay. Get ready for those lunges. I'm gonna actually do one. This one maybe. I want you guys to be able to get like every view to see how my back is, how my feet are, stuff like that. So I'll try not to talk too much this time. Ready? Front kick. Back lunge. Good. Okay. Beautiful. Good. Last one. You guys got this. Squat into that side kick. Ready? Squat, side, good. You guys could do any type of a squat for this one. I really should have said that earlier. Um, if you prefer a closer one, so you know this one's my standard, my favorite. Legs a little more than shoulder width, toes pointed out. This is how I squat when I have a bar. It's called low bar, because I pin the bar below my shoulder blades. You're done. Bye guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this workout. I know it was on a little more at the shorter side, but it was very effective. Um, my Fitbit actually registered that we worked out for, I want to say it's like 25 minutes. So like, that never happens. Um, that includes like rest times and stuff like that, as well as however long I rested before I actually like recorded this goodbye because I sat there and was like, Ooh. you know how it goes. Um, 
that's it. I really hope that the weather stays nice like this. I know we've had a few rainy days. It really sucked. I hope you guys are all healthy and safe, and I cannot wait to see you again next week. Sunday, I should be posting that skincare routine, I promise. I had some technical difficulties, so I have to re-record it, but hopefully I can get that up and going. And then I should be posting a cardio kickboxing class next week, as well as another video I haven't really planned out yet. I'm a little bit behind. Um, I have a lot of important info coming to you guys soon on my Instagram, so please be sure to check that out. We just did this challenge. I'm gonna come up with another challenge for July. I like to come up with challenges each month, um, as well as different Sunday series that I'll have you guys kind of like vote on, stuff like that, um, as well as feel free to ask me questions. I have a poll going on my story that's probably gone by the time you guys see this video, but um, to ask questions, so always DM me or comment if you have anything you want to talk about um, or any advice you want, stuff like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys all had an amazing day, and I can't wait to see you soon. Love you.